Hello everybody, today we're making something like this. It's a block with a custom model. Uh, for today's tutorial, I'll be making campfire. I know the particles kinda suck, but yeah, you could fix that if you want to. But first of all, I wanna just say something really quick. Apparently, 99% of the people watching my videos won't subscribe, so I'm sorry to ask, but at least some of you, if you could, please subscribe. I spend a lot of my time just working on YouTube and making videos and trying different stuff for YouTube and I get the views but no one subscribes so please if you like the video just subscribe please and comment if you want any other tutorials on MC Creator or something else okay back to the video see ya hello people welcome back to another video today I'm going to tell you how to Today I'm going to teach you how to create custom model blocks for MC Creator. I'll be using Model Creator by Crayfish and some other OPL. All links are in the description by the way. So between those two model creators there are some differences. So first of all OPL's model creator doesn't have angles. You can't angle any models, uh, I mean blocks inside the mod. But it makes some things much more simpler and better basically to do. But for this tutorial I'll be using model creator by Crayfish. So let's open it up. So it's best to start with the model first before you create any mods. You have to have the basic idea in your head already when making this. So I'll be making a simple campfire and here we are inside the model creator. So let's start off by pressing this up here which creates new block. That is a block, you can change the size and the position uh, on the right. You can also type in here with dot not a comma, but dot to change the size in decimals. Now let's simply go over the other things. You have rotation, here's the origin which means um, the place of which around the block rotates. Uh, so basically if I do this and change the... you can see how it rotates and I can change this. So first of all let's simply just quickly model what you want. So BRB. So that looked good enough. So next up, we'll create some textures for this, but first off, save this. It's always good to save the things a lot, because you never know when this program is going to crash or something. Your computer can even crash and you won't expect it and you will lose all the progress. So go here, file, save project, and I'll save it just to the desktop. And name it Campfire. And here save as model and click save. So now minimize this and now here's the campfire model I just created, I put it here. So these are the programs with which you can make uh, some textures. But the thing is about the default paint which comes win with windows and all that shit is that you can't make transparent uh, textures and you'll have basically some problems. So it's best not to use this, it's kind of bad and these two are probably the best one to use. Paint.net is even free and quite simple to use, but Photoshop is quite, quite an awesome program to know, to basically do everything with, but it's expensive and you can get alerts and stuff before you can use it. Um, so I'll be just using Paint.net for this tutorial because it's free and every one of you can use it. If you want it, link is in the description, just download it, download it and install it and let's open it. So here we are in the program. Let's first of all select file, new, and here's the thing. If you made a large model which needs a lot of textures and stuff, you'll use something bigger, but for mine it's enough. Um, since the normal texture is 16 by 16 for the blocks, I'll be using twice as much as that, which is 32 by 32, and press OK. To zoom in, hold control and scroll. And now I'll press uh, Ctrl A and delete. So you get blank, transparent piece of texture. So here, this is the place where you will put all of your textures. Then in the program, in the model creator, you'll go here to faces and select which one it will use. So my, my plan is just to create 16 by 16 uh, simple textures and I'll choose them inside the program. A simple way to create textures inside this program is just to go here and under render and then you'll have probably somewhere clouds and before you that choose two colors you want and it will basically because we're working in pixels and if you put roughness a lot 
you get something like this, which is great for Minecraft textures. I like this, so I'll press OK. And here's the wood texture, I'll just then choose it and it'll probably look fine. Next up is the stone texture, I'll do the same just with grey colors. And that's the basic textures done. So next up I will save as, go file, save as, and then here, save as PNG file on my desktop. And I'll name it, again, campfire texture. So basically I'll know which one is which, which one is the model and which one is the texture. So then save, okay, let's close this now. And here, the model creator. So now let's continue by using those textures we just made. Go to faces, select the block you want to edit first. I'll select the one of the logs or sticks. And here are the sides: northeast, south, west, up, and down. And on the other screen, you can on the other side you can see them uh, which part of the textures they are using. Um, now go to the here to to the texture image and then first of all you have to import it I already have it here because I messed up once this the tutorial um, you have to here campfire png and press open then we have it here press apply and have the first texture set but is the wrong size because we made it two times bigger than normal texture we have to divide all the numbers here by two so number one will be 0.5 and number uh, 12 would be 6. Now we can, uh, so we don't have to do it for the each side again, select and deport it and select it, uh, apply the texture. You just press here on the this texture, which you set, copy, and go to the other side, paste, and go to the each side basically, and just paste it. This one to set the size of the texture, this will only set the texture for that side. Now go to each one and set the size for, uh, for two times smaller. Okay, now so now that we set a texture properly, we can go here and move the uh, these blocks a bit, so that the thing the textures will be a bit different. They won't be all the same. And then let's go to the next uh, block. Go to cube two and do the same for them. I know this is very tedious, but you just have to do it for the each block. Okay, now BRB, I'll texture everything. I should note that basically you don't need to divide everything by two, but it's better because otherwise there's the, the pixels aren't in scale with other Minecraft blocks. They are, there are much more pixels in a place that there shouldn't be that many. I mean, you can see here, one of these blocks should be, should be one pixel, but you can see we have like four pixels instead of one pixel. And here we go, here's the model finally done. So next up, let's file, export as JSON, go to the desktop, and save it as campfire. I'll actually save it as campfire, export, and then click export. So next up, we are done with this uh, thing, and I'll save it one more time as project. If I'll, so if I need to change anything, I could go back and do that. And we're done with that. Next up, we'll go into MC Creator. So open up MC Creator, and in the, inside the MC Creator, select the empty workspace. Select it, then go to workspace and add new mode element. Then we'll name it something like campfire. It's a block and okay. And here inside this, first of all, single texture and use and import the block, uh, the block texture we made. It's a block. Just wait a moment so it imports it. And here it is, press it. Then up here, render type, press custom, JSON, import 3d model campfire expert json texture um, we made one because if you select two or more it's broken um, this is important you can still change this if it's um, if there are some uh, transparent textures you should check this i'm going to just do it a cutout mid because that fixes most of the problems when the blocks aren't rendering right. Then here you can change the coordinates if you want them to be different than normal blocks. But mine are pretty much okay as they are, like a normal block. So next, name it campfire. Harness is okay, resistance is okay, it has gravity okay. Uh, decorations, able to destroy it, X. Uh, luminance, I'll set some. Here you can, uh, if you press the question mark, you can see the comparison of light amount with other blocks. 
spawn particles, flame. Next, we could make it craftable. I'll just make a simple crafting recipe, something like this. And then next, and we're done. That's it. Now we could make it something like uh, that when you right click it, it turns on and turns off. You could do that, it's pretty simple. But for now we're done, go under console, you can see what's happening. When it says something green, build successful, that's it. That means you can uh, test it. So go here and click this thing. So we're inside the game. Go to single player, just create a new world. Let's open inventory, decoration blocks. Scroll down and here it is, campfire. Try to place it. It works, okay the particles are a bit messed up. That's it, thanks for watching. And remember to please subscribe because it seems like no one wants to subscribe to my channel even the, quite a lot of people watch it. And say videos are good and all that, but no one wants to subscribe. Also comment if you want any other tutorials. And I'll see you next time. Bye!